Let's see if you can spot the errors in each of these three sentences. Uh, we'll start here at the bottom. I was sad to learn all my friends would not be present. Look at that for a second. Can you see anything that's problematic about it? What's wrong with it, or what causes a problem, is that it's ambiguous. It isn't clear whether what this person is saying is that not a single one of her friends would be present, that all of them would not be present. Not one of them would be present, or whether it means that some, but not all, of the friends would be present. So uh, the problem really is caused by this adverb here. And as adverbs often do when they're causing trouble, this one is creating an ambiguity. Because you can't tell whether it means zero of my friends will be there or some number smaller than all of them will be there. The ambiguity would be eliminated if you said, I was sad to learn that not all of my friends would be there, uh, but some of them would be, would be the implication of that. Uh, or I was sad to learn that not one of my friends would be present. So that would mean none of them would be present. But this as it stands is ambiguous, and the ambiguity is caused by this most common of English adverbs, not. Uh, this one here, as a keyboard member, we are sending you a press release. As a keyboard member, we are sending you a press release. Well, the problem here is not ambiguity. Uh, there's nothing ambiguous here. It's just saying one thing wrong. Namely, this sentence, as it stands, says that the key member of the board is we. But, of course, the key member of the board is you, the person to whom this comment uh, is addressed. So the problem here is caused by this thing as a keyboard member, and what this is is a prepositional phrase, the preposition being as, uh, and member is actually the uh, object of the preposition. Uh, this board member is a compound noun. Uh, so. This is not ambiguous, but it is simply wrong. You would have to say, as a, key, uh, as a key board member, if you began that way, you would have to go on to say, you will be receiving a press release. As a key board member, you will be receiving a, a press release. Um, finally, we have this sentence here. There are several books to learn how houses are built. There are several books to learn how houses are built. Now, the problem here is one of what we call agency. That is, when there is supposed to be an agent, somebody to do something, and there isn't one, uh, then you are lacking an agent and you have an agency problem. And here, the problem is with this infinitive here, learning. But there's nobody to do any of this learning, and in this sentence, that lack of an agent causes a strangeness, a kind of muddiness, and it doesn't work. So, uh, this infinitive phrase, to learn how houses are built, creates a problem in this sentence. You could say there are several books that teach one how to build houses. Now one is building the houses. That's a, a restructured sentence, but that would avoid this problem altogether. But this sentence, as it stands, there are several there are several books to learn how houses are built, uh, is unworkable, uh, and the problem is caused by that infinitive phrase that I have bracketed.